Hello and welcome to our special awards chapel for Mrs. Parker's third and fourth grade students. While this is certainly a different awards chapel than we normally have, I'm so glad that you've taken the time to join us today um, as uh, we recognize the achievement of each of our third and fourth graders and the work they've done throughout this school year. I'd like us to start with a word of prayer and then I'll turn it over to Mrs. Parker. Our dear Lord, thank you so much for your love for each of these boys and girls. Thank you for the school year you've given them. While different than any of us expected, we know that you are accomplishing and you have accomplished something in their, each of their lives through this time. Uh, Lord, I pray that as we uh, recognize academic achievement and achievement of character, most of all, Lord, that you would receive the glory. We know it is only because of you that any of these students can receive these awards and Lord, that any of us can accomplish anything of lasting and eternal meaning. Lord, I pray you'd be glorified in the time we spend now together. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so I'm going to ask Mrs. Parker to come and present some classroom awards. And then uh, Pastor Walter and I have a couple of awards at the end as well. Mrs. Parker. One last time. Good morning, boys and girls. I really wish you were sitting here with your smiling faces. I can't tell you how much I miss you. Um, the awards are so different for me because I'm used to seeing you and talking to you. So it's going to be just quick here. Um, for third grade, um, Aiden uh, got academic excellence. And I, that's for students that get A's in um in their class he has accident academic excellence in spelling science math history and bible he has a science poster award excellent job uh, new york state notebook award almost every picture he had himself uh in there um and he's a learning at home superstar he had everything uh done on time and um uh, sent back in a timely fashion. Um, Pratham got uh, highest academic average in history, science, academic excellence in language, spelling, reading, math, and Bible. He did a really, really good job. Teddy got uh, highest academic average in Bible, science, history, reading, and spelling. She has academic excellence in language, penmanship, and math. Um, Hansika has uh, an outstanding award in diligence. She found um, third grade uh, challenging. And I believe on her report card, I, I wrote, honey, that you really finished strong. You really uh, were diligent, and so you have the Diligence Award, and you have a medal for your diligence. Um, you also have uh, a medal and um, a certificate for a Servant's Heart Award. Um, you were uh, helpful, you were uh, not just to me, but to other students, and so you will uh, receive a medal for that also. Bethany, you received highest academic average in penmanship, academic, academic excellence in language, spelling, science, reading, math, history, and Bible. And also, uh, you will be receiving a medal uh, for um, actually a Servant's Heart Award also. Um, these young ladies would be right there and ready to he land a helping hand uh, to their teacher or even to other teachers or um, their classmates. Isla, you have highest academic average in Bible, language, history, math, science, reading, spelling, and penmanship. Um, and you are going to be receiving a medal for the uh, highest average in third grade.
fourth grade. And some of you I'm going to be saying goodbye to, um, well, all of you from my classroom, but I still have you for science and health, so don't think you're getting off scot-free, okay? Um, Nithya, you have accident, academic excellence in science, reading, math, history, and Bible. You have academic achievement in art and uh, your New York State notebook. Um, you young lady, uh, I, every year I get some things that, you know, something that I learn new. I learned three or four things in, in uh, your New York State health book. New York State no, health book. Very, very interesting. Thank you. Uh, Serafina, you received highest academic average in language, history, and science. Academic excellence in penmanship, reading, math, and Bible. And I'm going to miss you, young lady. <laughs> Jaden. Jaden, you have um, academic excellence in science and in Bible. Um, and I also have given you uh, a diligence award, which um, is, comes with a medal. Uh, this young man would work very hard. I, I considered him um, a real, um, can't think of the word, example uh, to his classmates. He would have his head down and he would be working. And uh, even if he didn't understand something, he'd sit there and puzzle through it uh, and, or um, until I came over to ask if he needed help with anything. Um, he was just a real uh, example and the diligence that he showed to his work. Abraham. Abraham has academic excellence in spelling, science, reading, math, history, and Bible. Um, he, uh, the beginning of the year, I uh, challenged him, especially in, in penmanship, um, to really to do his best. And so, um, he did in the last half of the school year, he really um, pushed himself. So he also gets a diligence award with a medal. <clears throat> Ocean. You get a highest academic average in Bible. You get academic, academic excellence in penmanship, science, reading and history. Um, <clears throat> she is also another one that just puts her head down and she works. And even when you had such a hard time with Bible, I just, I'm really proud of you. You, um, you kept trying and that's something that uh, you need to keep doing next year. Keep trying. Don't just give up. And um, you have a, <clears throat> a Servant's Heart Award. Um, you were there to help me after school even. And um, after my dad passed away and we came back, you even offered to come in after school to help me, which of course you couldn't do. <laughs> um, Bavika. You have highest academic average in Bible, language, math, history, science, reading, spelling, and penmanship. You just really tried hard in every subject that you had. And um, if you didn't get something right on a test or a quiz, you asked. And actually in the last, what, the last quarter, you would call me <laughs> and ask. Um, good job, so you have, um, you have a medal for uh, Servant's Heart, um, especially with helping other students if they didn't understand something. And you also have a medal for Highest Average. You did an awesome, awesome job. And I just wanna say that I'm going to really miss you. And um, yeah, I'm gonna miss you.
normally in this period, Mr. Fry would uh, be coming to give some awards, but unfortunately I, I have an appointment in just a couple minutes, and so I'm going to do my award now, and then Mr. Fry is going to come and close out this time. But um, again, um, I just want to say how much I appreciate all of the students. Um, periodically throughout the academic year, I have the privilege of speaking in chapel, uh, both at the elementary level and in the high school level. and and I always look forward to those times. I, I really enjoy interacting with uh, the elementary students in chapel and uh, most of the time I, I bring in something that tries to draw their attention and, and uh, have PowerPoint programs and other things that I use. But uh, it's always fun. I always enjoy it. And I missed uh, not being able to speak one of my last times this year in, in elementary chapel. A reminder that I uh, used a few moments ago um, as we gave awards to first and second graders as well to third and fourth graders. Um, we have in the book of Ecclesiastes, the preacher, uh, we have Solomon giving many wise uh, sayings and talking about life in general and he is there letting us know that life apart from God is vanity all is vanity and so we are so thankful that we have a Christian school that can also put tremendous emphasis on knowing God and living for God and serving God and it says in Ecclesiastes 12 1 remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth and then later in the same uh, chapter it says in verse 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man certainly we recognize that our students are not perfect none of us are perfect but we would like to honor and reward some who are showing a tremendous desire to please God and to serve God and to live for God and we call it the Christian character award and we have one for the third grade and we have one for the fourth grade and I would like to uh, present uh, this morning to Isla Warner, the Christian Character Award for uh, the third grade, and then in the fourth grade, Jaden Jebaraj uh, is receiving the Christian Character Award for the fourth grade. Congratulations to these two students, and congratulations to all of our students for all of these awards that you have earned this year. God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor. And then I just have a couple of awards before we close out here, awards that I normally give out. Uh, first is a special medal uh, that goes to those who are on the principals list all four quarters of the year. And this is hard um, to do, but uh, we appreciate those who put in the effort academically to do that. In the third and fourth grade, the winners of the principals list award are Bethany Fry, Theodora Sanger, Isla Warner and Bavika Kodali. So we congratulate them on their hard work and consistent work throughout the year in all four quarters. Then one last award uh, that I'm going to give out is the Perfect Attendance Award. Now this is a bit unusual of an award this year perhaps because while we didn't ask moms and dads to take attendance at home, uh, we did have several students throughout our school who had perfect attendance as of March 12th. And we said, well, if you have perfect attendance that much, two-thirds of the year, you deserve an award. And so uh, one of Mrs. Parker's students had perfect attendance all that whole stretch of the year. And so we congratulate Pratham Prasad on perfect attendance uh, in this school year. So, all right. Um, I do want to go ahead and close in prayer and thank you for uh, your time. Lord, we thank you so much for uh, your love for each of our students. Thank you that you have... Uh, died to save them and that so many of them have put their trust in you for their eternal security lord we pray that you would bless them over this summer vacation to come keep them safe keep them close to you and we pray lord that according to your will you would bring them back again this fall to continue learning about you and learning about the world around them from your perspective 
Lord, we love you and thank you so much for this time we've been able to celebrate the achievements of these students. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much for joining us.